My distinction is that I'm the only surviving person, if I am surviving, who properly knew people in Cheston's family circle. That is why my memories are now of some importance. One day, out of the blue, I got a telephone call from the British Library. Mr. Mackey, we've got Chesterton member of Billy here. Would you be willing to take custody of it? Mm. I said, yes, certainly. And on the loading bay, out of doors, were eight big cases like that. I'm not even sure that I signed for anything. And I've still not recovered from that, this great richness of stuff. That is how this great collection grew, bit by bit, over many decades. There is here in these archives, a drawing done when he was, I think, six years old. Mm. And it's interesting, it shows a monk fleeing from pursuers. Mm. And uh, it's obviously a medieval idea. And one of the soldiers pursuing the monk to kill him was carrying a sword, but another was carrying a modern revolver. Yeah. And uh, what interested me was that the monk was carrying a crucifix. I'm sorry to criticize him, but he was a vandal with books. He would tear out the blank fly leaf to light his little cigars, and his books at school and at home, wherever he was, covered page after page with extravagant doodles and so on, not just in the margins, but right across the text. H.G. Wells wrote that, if I ever get to heaven, if such a place exists, it will be because I can boast of being a friend of Gilbert Chesterton's. So, as I say, he made no enemies no. like this. I've got memories that other people haven't had, you see, so, so now they're recorded. Good.